the world continues to de-dollarize. China is buying massive amounts of gold while simultaneously selling off United States bonds. China's bank is also reported to have bought more than 225 tons of gold in 2023, and this is just continuing into 2024. Not just with China, but pretty much all the big central banks and hedge funds are doing this. Amid the ongoing geopolitical shift brought about by the BRICS Economic Alliance, America's fourth largest bank has warned of an impending economic crash. Specifically, Citigroup's chief U.S. economist Andrew Hollenhurst has spoken with CNBC regarding his concerns for the United States and its economic fragility. Meanwhile, we have asset-backed stablecoins being worked on by companies like Ripple and other blockchain companies. This will be a game changer that will help level the playing field. The current and most popular stable coins like USDT, aka Tether, also USDC are actually inflation coins because they claim to be backed by the US dollar, even though they really aren't. It's all a fake, it's all a facade, it's all fake, it's just debt-based money. They've never been audited. Tether will just mint a billion dollars onto the blockchain out of nowhere, and they've never been audited. So do they really have a one-to-one -one reserve? of US dollars that they hold in physical cash, highly, highly doubt it. Watch what's happening on the XRPL. Also too, Congress just passed a bill that's very in favor of cryptocurrency. The House passed legislation Wednesday laying out new framework for when cryptocurrencies should be regulated by the Securities and Exchange Commissions or the Commodities Future Trading Commission. The lower chamber voted 271 to 136 to pass the Financial Innovation and Technology for the 21st Century Act, despite opposition from the SEC Chairman Gary Gensler. 71 Democrats joined 208 Republicans to support this measure. FIT21 would classify digital assets like crypto as commodities regulated by the CFTC if the blockchain on which they were running is functional and decentralized. If the blockchain is functional but not decentralized, they would consider it a securities and it would fall under the purview of the Securities and Exchange Commission. Gensler argued in a statement Wednesday that the legislation would create new regulatory gaps and undermine decades of precedent regarding the oversight of the investment contracts. The crypto industry's record of failures, frauds, and bankruptcies is not because we don't have rules or because the rules are unclear, the SEC chair said ahead of the House vote. It's because many players in the crypto industry don't play by the rules. We should make the policy choice to protect the investing public over facilitating business models of non-compliant firms, he added. Gensler noted that FIT21 would abandon the Supreme Court's longstanding test for classifying securities and would allow issuers to self-certify that their products are decentralized, making them digital commodities and removing them from the SEC oversight. This is actually some of the best news that I've heard in a really, really long time because this welcomes innovation for blockchain technology and decentralized finance technology to come into the United States and actually you know, not like lose in the race of technology because that's what was happening with all the SEC and the lawsuits is they were just chasing everyone out of the United States and all the innovation was going overseas. And then the United States was just going to get left behind. So this is actually very, very good news that this bill has passed. Here's another recent message from the U.S. debt clock. Fed Q&A disclosure. And we got over here, we got the, uh, the, the Fed on the right, infiltration, extortion, blackmail, bribery, colluding, scheming, grifting, all while maintaining the great illusion. And then over here on the left, we got silver. Silver will destroy the Fed. Gold and silver and also going to asset-backed cryptocurrency stable coins to level the playing field. It says how we're able to keep the fake money Fed scam going for so long, it asks... It's just by the people's own ignorance that they've all collectively allowed this scam to continue going on. The writing is all over the wall for anyone who wants to pay attention. The U.S. dollar is going down. The world is de-dollarizing. There's going to be a, a big crash. There's probably going to be some hyperinflation that goes on. And if you're not prepared for this, you're going to get wiped out financially. And this is why I choose to store some of my value in things like gold, silver, and also cryptocurrencies, decentralized finance technology, because this is the future of our monetary system. If you need to learn how to trade cryptocurrency, click the link in my bio. There's a free cryptocurrency trading course, teach you all the basics and the fundamentals about how to use the exchanges and read the charts. Everyone have a wonderful day. Make sure you follow all my accounts, my Instagram, my Facebook, and my YouTube channel.